Good morning, everybody. It is June 15, 2017. Welcome to Morning Hair. Hey, first day of summer vacation. For most of us, the wife had to go in one last day. <laughs> she was none too happy about it. Uh, but enough about that. Uh, hey, it is June 14, 1944. I would like to point out yesterday was my son's middle school graduation. Congratulations to all the kids. Last night, high school graduation, Old Sabre High School. Congratulations, class of 2017. You guys are great. You guys are the bomb. Um, but it put me in mind that uh, we were very close. We missed by about three days Anne Frank's birthday. Anne Frank uh, turned uh, 13 in 1943, and her gift was a diary, which she uh, filled out during her family's hiding uh, during World War II. And so on June 15, 1944, Anne Frank would have been 14 years old, and she was writing a document that would have a profound Im impact upon the, the psyche of the whole world. And you know, it just strikes me that if Anne Frank can do something so important at age 14, it shouldn't be too much trouble to ask a certain 14-year-old to put down the Xbox controller and help you cut the grass. <laughs> More on that story as it develops. Uh, but we are continuing our month of Shakespeare. And today, one of my favorite Shakespeare plays, which uh, I've actually taught this before to 8th graders, and they didn't really appreciate it. I, I didn't care. I had a lot of fun. Richard II, which is a play that doesn't, uh, doesn't get performed as often as I'd like. Uh, but uh, Richard II became king at the ripe age of 10. Now, to understand the kingship in England, you have to know what the principles of legitimacy are, which basically says that when the king is king, his firstborn son is next in line to the throne. All right? It doesn't matter if he has 14 sons, it's the firstborn son that's next in line. Now, if the firstborn son has a son, that son is third in line, or second in line, third. He's the next one. So this uh, caused some problems uh, when Richard became king because Richard's father was the Black Prince who should have been king after his father died, but the Black Prince died before Grandpa died. And so when Grandpa died, it went to the Black Prince's son, Richard, who was only 10 years old. Uh, and so by the time he was 14 years old, he was ruling, ruling a country at age 14, um, you know, and probably didn't worry about the expiration of his Xbox Gold account. <laughs> I wasn't worried about something like that. Expires on the 21st. Um, anyway, in Richard II, uh, you, you know, a leopard can't change his spots. That saying came from Richard II. Yeah, when Richard says, uh, rage must be withstood. Give me his gauge. Lions make leopards tame. Because the lion was the, the symbol of, uh, of the Plantagenet house of which Richard was part of. I think. No, 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 no. Richard was some other house. I, I, it doesn't matter. Anyway, he was not a... He was not a uh, Lannister, that's the important thing. Um, and, but Thomas Mowbray, has, Thomas Mowbray was the Duke of Norfolk who had challenged or had been challenged by Henry Bolingbroke to a duel because these guys didn't like each other. And there's a long and exciting story as to why that the play doesn't really get into. But uh, Thomas Mowbray has this great line about honor. And he says, uh, The sweetest treasure mortal times affords is spotless reputation. That away, men of it gilded loam and painted clay. A jewel in a ten times barred up chest is a noble spirit, a loyal breast. Mine honor is my life. Both grow as one. Take honor from me and my life is done. It was a fascinating speech about honor from a guy who had none. <laughs> because Mabry was lying. But anyway, I always like that idea that, uh, you know, this, the best thing you can have in life is a perfect reputation, a spotless reputation. Uh, we have, uh, especially in this internet age, you're allowed one mistake and that's it. That's it. One mistake, and we will never let you forget, depending upon the heinousness of the, of the mistake. So once your reputation is gone, it's a hard, hard thing to get it back. So maintain that spot, spotless reputation. You know, one of the things that can help maintain a reputation is doing things that your dad knows needs doing, even without him having to ask you or pry you from the couch with a, with a tool to get you out the back door. Just saying. Hey, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Morning, here will be posting. You know, the school year, when the school year is going on, I was posting at 5 o'clock in the morning. God, that just was terrible. But now that we've got summer for a couple months, I'll be posting a little later in the day. Uh, wow, it's almost 8.30. I think I'll take a nap. See you tomorrow. Bye.